Are you in the club? Hey guys, welcome back to DCTC. On today's episode, we're going to be doing another science experiment. Or maybe it's a craft. Maybe it's a crafty science experiment. <laughs> I'm not sure what to call it. So this is what we're going to do. We are going to use these crayons to make a candle. So I went to the craft store and I was going to buy a wick and a glass jar, but they actually had one that was already made. So if you want to do this, you need something, some kind of a glass jar with a wick. You can buy the wick at a craft store and glue it to the bottom like this. So we're going to use this and then we're going to use some old crayons that I had. And if you hear some noise in the background, <laughs> it's Zoomy. Zoomy has a little toy and she's next to me playing while I record. What are you doing, girl? You can't have crayons. No, no. <laughs> Silly girl. So if you want to do this, the first thing that you'll need to do is remove the wrapper. And what I did is I cut a slit right down the middle of the paper to make it easier to remove it because it's kind of tough. I thought we would make a rainbow candle. So we're going to, ah, I can't get this one. So we're going to do this and when we have all the crayons that we need, we're going to break them into tiny pieces and fill up the jar and then the sciencey part of it is <laughs> we are going to make this candle using bum 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 just the sun. So I hope it works. It's really hot and sunny in North Carolina today, so I think we'll be in good shape. Ooh, that was easy. That was perfect. Okay, I think we're ready. Peeling the paper off the crayons is really messy, so you want to put down some kind of a little paper towel. I should have done that. <laughs> I did that yesterday when I was peeling the wrapper off of all of these, so. Messy job number two, breaking the crayons into little pieces. The first layer of our rainbow candle, red. Jimmy's back. <laughs> oh, oh, that's not good, <laughs> Jimmy. Okay, so I have some dark and light orange, and I'm gonna put the dark in first, and then the lighter. <laughs> Jimmy's not very helpful, is she? <laughs> What you doing, girl? Okay, do you know what color is next? <laughs> it's yellow. Zumi is very curious. What do you think? Next up is green. <laughs> she must really like the way these smell. Now blue. We're getting close to the end. Are you feeling shy? Are you feeling shy? And our last color is purple. This looks really cool already. Okay. 
Okay, here is our before. It looks so cool. And now we'll go set it in the sun and it will all melt together. I can't wait to see what it looks like when it's finished. <laughs> Zumi is so curious about this. What do you think, girl? <laughs> Here's our little candle. I have it sitting in the sun. And I'm going to set up a time lapse on my other camera so we can watch it melt. Our time lapse is underway. I had to move our candle already because the spot that I had it initially was shady. <laughs> Too shady. So we'll see what happens. Okay, it's been about two and a half hours and I'm gonna have to move it again because as you can see, half of it is in the shade, but look at the top. The purple is really melting. Okay, it's been about five hours and as you can see, the top is really melted, but the bottom layers, not much at all. See that? And it is supposed to rain so I think we're gonna have to stop for today and give it another shot tomorrow. You can probably see it better in here where it's not so bright. So I see some of the blue and green. There's Zoom. <laughs> and it is dripping down to the yellow and the red definitely looks like it's melting. Yes, little lady. Yes. She wants attention. Okay, so, ooh, ooh, that's so melty. The top layer is definitely completely melted. Hmm, I don't know. It'll be interesting to see if this works. Okay, we're on day number two, and as you can see, a lot of the crayons melted, but, it's not really what I was thinking it would look like. <laughs> it's not the way it looked on the internet. So I'm gonna try something new today. I'm going to take our glass jar and I'm going to have some foil sitting around it. And this is really turning out to be quite the science project. It's much more sciencey than crafty <laughs> at this point. So I'm hoping that the aluminum foil will um, conduct some heat or increase the amount of heat from the sun. So I think we can try this next and we'll see how it goes. Okay, this is our plan. So I have it sitting on black. This is actually my grill cover. <laughs> and this is already hot, so Maybe between that and the foil, we can get this thing melted. Okay, it's been like three hours and this has definitely melted a lot. Look at that. <laughs> hmm, that's interesting. I think that's about as good as it's gonna get. We'll have to take it inside and take a closer look. I don't want to move it because even carrying it in has mixed up some of the colors because it's really, really liquidy right now. And so I'm going to wait for it to cool. And then I will take it, I'll carry it to my white table so you can see all of the colors really well. But, ooh, that foil really helped. All right, our candle wax has solidified again. It's all cooled down. And this part is kind of crazy looking. I'm not sure what melted that turned this so light. But this is really cool right here. See all of this? Like all of the colors have mixed together, but they didn't mix and turn into, you know, a big mess. <laughs> so that part is really pretty. 
And then again, I don't know, I don't know what light color crayon would have done that. It must have been a, a light purple or, I don't know, it's really weird, but we can just have that be the back of our candle. So now we're gonna cut the wick and light it. <laughs> My scissors won't cut it, of course. Okay, I had to use two hands, but got the wick cut and now we're going to light it. Aww, there's our little candle that we made. So now I'll tell you some things I would have done differently. So all of this, ooh, that's warm in there. Don't do that. <laughs> all of this wax is um, from the crayons. As they were sitting in the sun, they kind of melted to the side. And there's really no way that I could have avoided that. But I think what I would have done differently is maybe when it was still wet and liquidy, I wouldn't have moved it, but maybe take a paper towel and try to gently wipe on the inside. And then the other thing that I would have done differently is just, I wouldn't have moved it at all. I would have let it sit outside until the sun went down and let the wax solidify out there because when I moved it, it was so liquidy that all of the colors pooled together and kind of messed it up. But I think this part still looks really cool. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you give it a try, let me know how it turned out, okay? This is Amy Jo with DCTC. Bye, thank you for watching.